All right, this week I want to work with um, my intermediates here on sort of a concept. Um, it's kind of a lick, but kind of not. I mean, you can throw this into things, but the whole main point of this is, um, you know, you, you want your songs to have a groove or a rhythm that is really defined. So here's something um, that I threw into a song <clears throat> that I really like playing um, that really tells you it's bluesy okay so just listen to this little thing i do it's two little embellishments okay so here we go all right so what i did there i'll do it again is i took my note at the first fret of the middle string and you play this note how many millions of times? Umpteen times. And you go back to a D. So um, this is just one of the zillions of ways to do it, but do this little bend here. Do a bend pull off there. Then uh, do a quick slide. So I'm not going to give you tab for this. I want you to try to get this rhythm. Try to match this groove, okay? And the way you're going to do that is by listening to it, okay? So just listen to it a lot. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing a bend pull off at the second fret and a strum out of the middle and bass string only. The next strum is in all three strings out strum. So we want the bend pull off, an out strum of two strings, then an out strum of all three. Okay? And then we do it again. So it's a repeat of it. The very next strum is all three strings and an immediate slide from the first to the second fret and you can give it a little wiggle too. It makes it sound really good. All right, so try to match that little groove there. And um, once you've matched it, think about how you can implement things like this. Not that one specifically but things like this into a song. That one little phrase there can make your whole song, okay? So if you can turn a couple of your notes that you're playing, that's what I was playing. Boy, that's boring, isn't it? I, I turned that into something cool sounding, right? So what we wanna do with our music, obviously, is we wanna take our notes, And we want to make them musical, more musical, right? And make them just sound cool, all right? So with your, um, with everything you play and everything you do, try to add little things like this, okay? Now, um, you'll get a specific feel coming out of your song or your arrangement when you do this. So if you if you try this and do it and put it in another song, I don't mean put this into another song, put something like this into another song, you're going to get a feel for the song and for the beat and the way it rolls, right? So you can't go around and add a million of these things because it'll they'll mess with each other, okay? You can add things that complement that one cool thing you did, Okay, here's another one. Somebody's gonna steal this probably, but here's another one. That was real bluesy, did you hear it? It was just really bluesy. It had its own groove going too, right? And it's real bluesy. 
And that's because that's sort of my flavor that I like to add to things, all right? So you're going to want to experiment. You're going to want to find your flavor. What is your flavor, okay? You, you need a flavor because you're not just going to follow tab, right? We're intermediates now. We're not, we're, we're getting rid of that tab, okay? Um, we're getting into adding our own touches to songs, right? If it's a song that's already out there, which... That's what most people play, and there's nothing wrong with that. Give it your own style, right? That's what you want to do. Come up with something of your own, right? I've showed you some cool licks down here and some bluesy stuff and um, showed you some concepts, and boy, that, that bend, that never gets old for me. So have fun with it, work with it, get your own flavor going.